Hey YouTube. Well, Gary, you wanted to see it, and so I'm going to show it to you and to everybody else out there. Yes, you guys are in for a treat. This is going to be a tour of the uh, Palatial RJ's Knives Studio. Uh, right now, I don't have the camera set up in the tripod. Uh, I'm going to be moving the uh, camera around, or the phone, however you want to I want to say that the phone in my camera is going to move around. We're going to back up and take a look, but I wanted to have some eye candy out there for you. Then I was going to do something that showed some of my favorite outdoors knives. And these were two knives that uh, I used to carry every time I went on any kind of a hunting or camping adventure. And that is the uh, Cold Steel SRK and this old timer. It's the sharp finger with the uh, gut hook. Uh, I do want to know, gut hooks, I guess, are a little controversial. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you like them, if you don't like them, if you think they're worthless or you grind it right off. This one is a, uh, a mid to early 90s uh, shred. This was made in the U.S. And it's the uh, 158OT, the Sawcut Delrin old timer. I think I got this at a, uh, at a Walmart if I remember right. But uh, this guy has not been on the channel yet. I was, like I said, I was gonna do one on camping and outdoor knives, but I said, oh, well, I'll just put this on, you know, with everything else. But let me uh, back up and you guys can see kind of what I'm dealing with. Yes, I do have knives and stuff. I have my notebook for when I make notes and some sheaths, a couple knives and a ruler sitting over there. Uh, I got my light. And I have my uh, little miter saw over there and a vise because this is my workbench. And this is a uh, eight foot long workbench. I got some other knives. Those are empty knife boxes, except for that top uh, Black Forge knives. That's the, uh, the Damascus knife. Now I've got some uh, KPL over there and some oil for when I'm messing around with stuff, I got my two little screwdrivers, the T6 and the T8 are over there and some uh, hex wrenches, some Allen wrenches. I uh, got some different stuff over here. Got a little toolbox, uh, some ballast all and stuff. But yeah, I did. I made this uh, bench myself. Uh, I'll kind of back up. It is a little messy and it's a little tight in here because I share my studio with my car. So you know, kind of messy. You know, I'm not uh, not the tidiest garage keeper. I'm not going to be on any kind of uh, home makeover show anytime soon. But yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. And for right now down here, let me uh, get this. And of course, I've got the uh, Hardcore Hammers hatchet. We'll put that guy out there because, hey, that's a outdoor camping implement if there ever was one. Uh, yeah, we'll just set him like that. There we go. That's a nice shot. I should take a picture of that. Maybe I'll make that the thumbnail. Who knows? Anyways, Gary, that's kind of it for that. Because I work off of the off of the top. We'll kind of do a walk around the block like Rick does. I got some drill stuff and other things up here. Uh, I'm thinking of converting this little tool chest into knife storage. I will probably uh, do that uh, maybe this weekend, maybe next weekend. I don't know. But, you know, just got some stuff, some tools and everything else. All the regular kind of garage stuff that you're going to get over here. I have some, these are knives either that were used in videos or sometimes they're standbys. You know, so every once in a while you'll see me reach over to the side because I'll be talking about something. I'll be, oh yeah, I like this one. And I'll grab that one. Uh, I do have more knives that are inside the house. Uh, that are on my dresser and stuff, but I'm not taking you in there. That's, <laughs> that's kind of a mess, but, uh, not the bedroom, my dresser is, uh, but that's where I get, you know, my knives that I'm going to carry. Cause I do rotate through knives quite a bit as I carry stuff, but when they're going to get ready to get filmed and I don't always put them up right away, like there's all my little TL 29 collection up here that I got going all my little work knives and stuff. But I'll grab knives from out of here, and uh, I grab knives from in there. And it just kind of depends on my mood, you know, on what I grab or what I carry on any particular day. Or sometimes when I, uh, 
just feel overwhelmed with my knife choices, I'll just uh, have Mrs. RJ, uh, I'll ask her, here, color coordinate some knives for me. And she always obliges, which is nice. And when I post those pictures on Instagram, it seems like hers always get uh, good uh, remarks from, from everybody. But, uh, but yeah, this is pretty much uh, what I got going on for right now. I do want to move uh, where I film inside the house because it's much nicer to be climate controlled than non-climate controlled. And that's uh, one of the things that I'm definitely wanting to uh, work on. So, although you guys see my videos and it's pretty much tight in on the uh, on the old uh, cutting board there, uh, as you can see, I have a lot of uh, a lot of bench space, you know. So, so that's it for this. I hope you enjoyed it, Gary. I uh, hope to see other people's uh, stuff. If I'm not embarrassed to show off my studio, then uh, hopefully someone else won't be embarrassed to show off theirs. Anyways, that's it for this one. I will uh, talk to you guys later. Oh yeah, be sure to let me know about gut hooks in the uh, comments if you like them or not. I'm interested to know. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.